Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo! Last night, we learned of the fishing tourney that's gonna be taking place in town this weekend, and in the spirit of doing that, we caught ourselves an angelfish, one of the few items that our museum was missing, getting us even closer to our long-term goal of completing said museum. Not only that, but we also learned the special power that Series 5 Animal Crossing Amiibo cards hold within them. Tonight, we are here at roughly the same time as when we started our, well, lack thereof of a day last time, because I just really like this song, okay? It's very synonymous with Animal Crossing New Leaf for me. It's one of the songs I've heard the most while playing, and it's just, it sounds very nice and sounds very New Leafy, I guess. Got three letters, one from Shari. Hey there, Emil. I know this is coming out of nowhere, but that's the fun. Here is your surprise present. If you didn't expect it, I'll consider this a success. I like it a lot, so I hope you do too. See ya, Shari. What is it you like, Shari? What is it you like? I want to know this for future reference. It is a Papa Panda. Oh, that's actually really cute. And Egbert the other day thought I wanted a baby panda. He worded it very poorly, saying that he hunted a baby panda for me, but... I guess they, I guess the secret's out that I like pandas, and I guess I do kind of miss Chester a little bit, and now that we don't have his uh, bamboo garden anymore, there's that. There's uh, the item I ordered from Jones RV, and then there's the double neck guitar that I ordered from Sprocket. Wanted to get both of those in my catalog because I am a completionist freak. Gonna check my town initiatives, which has the island import, bring 10 things from the islands using the item drop-off box, and giant isopod. We gotta go diving to get that, and that's pretty rare. I think we can get that at nighttime, and that does work out because there is one diving creature that we are missing. Uh, if I can actually show that, let me uh, go grab that real quick. Correction, we got two left. The spiny lobster is the one that is catchable right now. Well, not technically right now, but at this time of year, and it becomes available after 9 p.m., so I picked a rather lucky time to be doing that if my town initiative has me going diving. Before anything else, let's actually live up to what I was wanting to do before. Main Street. Main Street was something I was wanting to do before? Why, yes, and hello, Kid Cat, you're distracting me in the middle of what I was about to get to the point. Oh, it's you, Emil. Glad to know I'm so underwhelming. I missed you too, buddy. Do you have anything else? This is my jogging area. Paths around here are perfect. And not at all like any other town that has, well, okay, actually, no, Main Street is unique from town to town. I want to go to TNT Emporium, is what the point I was trying to get at was. As I said that I wanted to start doing the Daily Fortune early, uh, we have another time special tonight? Seriously? Man, I'm having very good luck with this stuff. As soon as I'm trying to build another room, everything's on sale just every night. I'll take that for a modest two play coins. Come on, doggy. I mean it, I want another dog. It always rains on your birthday, yet no one ever gives you an umbrella. I don't think that's a losing one. I think that's actually for Peach's parasol. I wish I could apply that to the future day, but today is not my birthday, and uh, it's also not raining, so uh, there is that. But maybe I'll have bad luck, perhaps. Oh, it is a loser. A pickle jar! <laughs> I mean, I do like pickles. I'd kind of prefer that over a lot of the prizes that I could have gotten there. I'll take it and say nothing, except that I'm... I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> My, what a pickle to be in! <laughs> anyway, up on the second floor, we're going to go furniture shopping once again, because I'm not going to have any chance to do that later. Got a sleek clock on the wall right there. Got another spooky furniture item. There's the same stool that I bought here yesterday. I guess they had an excess stock of them. Not really a fan of the chess set equipment. Uh, I think I've used the gumball machine before in my interior decorating. I don't want a, I don't want a briefcase. Man, you guys suck. For being the only place in town, you guys sure act like you have a monopoly by not having that good of a stock. The modern stuff is kind of cool, I guess. Maybe I might want to go for that. I haven't really thought of a direction that I want to go for for this room. Perhaps maybe I'd be open to some ideas because I still haven't really thought of it. I've just been kind of putting stuff I like there that happens to go together. This is probably going to be spooky, isn't it? Yeah, spooky. The other one better not also be a spooky wall. That would kind of suck. Kitty wall. I think out of everything, I'm going to take the modern flooring out of all this. That's the only thing that I want out of their furniture section today. We haven't gone up to Gracie Grace at all yet. If I want to get some furniture for that back room, then uh, maybe we could go there. It's going to be expensive as heck, but we have 
a whopping three million bells. I don't mean to brag, but we do. She has the sweet stuff this month. Um, hmm. Might be worth collecting. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I just kind of wanted to see all the furniture that was available here right now. With all of that done, I say we get started on the daily routine as, wow, this was one heck of a detour. All just to do the daily fortune early. Biscuit! I no longer have to hang my head in shame about not talking to you! Thought I'd hang out in Palette today, dog. I'm so glad that you chose to come to Palette for another day and I didn't miss you. It's much more relaxed than during the day. I agree. Walking around at nighttime is great. As long as it's not too late, of course, though. But uh, I'm so happy I saw Biscuit. And you know, before this, Biscuit more like missed it. <laughs> Have a notification on the bulletin board. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Well, I'm pretty sure I knew what both of them were. Ah! The resistance! You must die! Right this instant, you are so lucky that it's taking me a few tries to switch to the right tool! You will go down. You will go down. You will go up technically, but that's like going down but for plants. Works out that that happened, I guess, because I wanted to go to the police station as we have not paid a visit there because they were so buried deep in the bamboo. Ooh. This is your doing, isn't it? You're using the lost and found to... Never mind. I kind of want to add talking to the police, if you have the police station, to the daily routine. I think it should be on everyone's daily routine, as you don't know for sure if you have a visitor or not. They roam around town, you might not just run into them. Um, well, a moment ago I ran into someone named Sahara. Oh! Shoot! That was very well time for me to do that. There's also Gulliver, of course, who can spawn in on the beach, and you might just not explore the whole beach each day. Stroller, don't think so. What are you? That is a sleek stereo. That could be kind of nice. I kind of want a stereo to replace the egg stereo that I have in that back room, so I'll take that. And what do we got? Lantern. I don't think so. I'll leave this here. Could look good in a very Japanese room, but I think I'm going to leave it. Because I'm honest. After the first item that I steal. Egbert wanted to talk while we were making our rounds. Heard the people calling you Major E. The trendsetter continues. Go right on ahead, buddy. We haven't seen a whole lot of Rocco. I thought we could stop and chat with him for a little bit. Yeah, fluffy, recharging the batteries at nighttime. That is what I do all life long. So I'm kind of interesting, well, interesting to me. Recently I got to chat with someone named Gan from Ganymede named Adriana. I was really getting a sort of pro listener vibe from her. I thought it was pretty funny. I know, right? She is such a good listener. That is hilarious, buddy. Just top grade comedy right there. Just, I can't believe it. She's a listener. <laughs> I get the feeling there's less trash and a, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just telling me what my ordinance does. Please, I don't need to know this. I know what I enacted. I should know what I said in a video game four years ago. Sometimes you hit a rock. I don't need tutorials. I should know how to play something from four years ago. Yes, I'm taking part of the fishing tourney. As long as I don't catch a cold, I'll be there. <laughs> you really are good at bad jokes, actually, Rocco. I approve. I very much approve. Cookie wanted to talk. Oh, no, no, hey, no, Egbert, no, stop. Egbert, no. Egbert, if you make me miss this, please, no. Thank goodness, I was just thinking. Don't you think Pallet would have five, an illuminated clock? For sure, right? I'll tell Isabel, wow, we unlocked a public works project at random. I'm not sure if I'll build that. I personally feel very iffy about the illuminated items because while they look great at night, they just look terrible during the day. They're great if you only play at night though. And why not? We will meet with the carpet camel and just see what it is she suggests for our interior. Yes, please, take my payment of the money. Track down Sahara, we're gonna see what it is that she suggests for our house. As, who knows, maybe adding some jelly-filled donuts to my room will throw off the decor so much that she suggests a radically different wallpaper that I've never obtained before. I can only hope. It is done, done like the past. Tomorrow is here. Thanks to science? <laughs> I'm probably gonna wind up putting the princess floor and wall back there because of just how expensive. I tell this to the nook man, he asked me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> the Nook Man. I'll have to remember that one next time he tries handing me about my debt. Which, actually, I don't have any and I won't ever have any again, but... Crap, I won't ever get to use that insult! 
What did she think would look good? Whoa! Okay, the wall is kind of hideous, but the floor... That's good floor. Like, that's, that's really good floor. I don't know if I don't know if I'll keep it for this room because it doesn't match the blue on everything too well, but that might be a contender for the room that we're currently working on. Well played, not bad. I think that about does it for the daily routine sans the town initiatives because we gotta head to a place that we have not been to in all of this visit in order to well, do them. Or rather, we can go to this place and put the two together because, well, it kind of makes sense in the interest of being efficient. Cap'n! What's that? If you want to head to the island, it'll be 100 bells. 100 bells. I can't count. I never learned how to count in school because you didn't need a pirate in order to... Or, I can't even structure my sentences correctly, but you know what I mean. I mean to say that you didn't need schooling in order to be a pirate. All you needed to do was be able to sing and clash some swords for a little while. And with me with my shell on my, on my back, how could I ever lose? I had a defensive shield at all times. The island! Not much has changed about this place, admittedly. The only thing that's different has to do with tours, and we'll be getting to that another time. I don't see any need to do that whatsoever. So instead... Lloyd... Oh, there is a shark over there. There is a shark over there. That's all that needs to be said about the current situation unfolding right before us. I'm cool with just taking these three. I should catch that for some free money. I guess nothing is free. We will take on our wetsuit after we have donned the sea turtle colored attire. We go swimming and we emerge a man with one more spiny lobster than he currently has. Complete with a bow in his hair. Go, 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 the other one we need. Wow. Good town initiative. Good, good town initiative. Yep, come on, come on. Oh, it's a regular lobster. <sighs> Another lobster. <laughs> I didn't achieve the goal I wanted, but I ain't coming home a failure. I was able to get at least one, I almost said object though, but one creature for the museum that I need. The flatworm, three of them to be precise. You can see that I got one, two, three, four, five lobsters and none of them were spiny. So I sorta of don't think we're gonna be getting that goal today. Also no giant isopod. Wait. I never donated the saw shark either? I thought I would check everything we caught because I didn't think I'd gavel the diving creatures, but... Wow. Two in one day then. And here is your flattened worm that isn't scary to you for some reason. Maybe because it resembles a dead worm you like it a lot better than an alive worm. That's the best I got. Ooh, I looked for that giant isopod for so long. I know that it might seem like I'm giving up to you because it's only been a few minutes for you, but look at what time it is. I've been here for... <laughs> wow, perfect with the chiming of the clock. <sighs> I have been here for over an hour and 20 minutes trying to catch that giant isopod and that spiny lobster and no avail. Molly, I feel exactly the same way. Let's, let's sulk together a little bit. She knows. She knows. She knows. I don't want to take a break from playing, but it's really sweet that you knew. What's new? 
Lately, Croak and Pietro have been fighting like cats and dogs. Deep down, I think they both want to be friends again, but they just can't be honest with each other. Seems complicated, but given the right opportunity, I'm sure they'll make up. It's Croak. Unless it's you, he doesn't care about anyone. You have such a lofty image of him. Well, next up, we're back in our rather snazzy-looking house once again, because I want to talk to Wisp. Today, we are going to see what happens if you scan an amiibo that is not Animal Crossing-based at all. About as different as you can get is a competitive online shooter. Hey there, way to meet the coolest player in town, yours truly. Ahem, whoa, do I sound just like Inkwell or what? Your wish is my command. I want you to come out and play. Yes, the real Inkwell. Yes, I want him to play. It is exactly what I just said. I'll also take my Meow coupons. With it being night out, we shall check our very scary bat machine. Enjoy my one Meow coupon for all that hard work. Uh, I really wish I got the giant isopod, but I got two new additions to the museum. My goal has actually been one a day, so I'm very happy about that. Also, I actually walked over the flowers this time. Maybe I don't need to move them after all. Hey, Harv, what's up? That's exactly the words that I am about to say to you right in this moment. I love the little cat maracas referencing the Meow Coupon logo. That's adorable. <laughs> what are you going to say to us while doing this? Aren't those little yellow birds just cute? Just flying free, not a care in the world. I think we could all learn a thing or two from them, myself included. Oh, you're not going to say anything different than that. That's just kind of what you say by default. We're still seeing new things that you can do, though. This chair, not really looking too good. This rack of food. Uh, I kind of want to grab them for cataloging purposes, but if I do, I'll do it a little bit later. Well, I guess. Oh, wait, hang on. Yep, that is what you can do around the Campfire Public Works project. It works right here as well, so I guess I didn't need to build one to show that after all. But just know you can do that little tribal dance kind of looking thing all around it. Zipper tea bunny? Seriously? Zipper tea bunny. Your house is pretty sweet. I don't like you at all. I think you're one of the creepiest characters in all of Animal Crossing and not even on a cool level, but. Hope you're looking forward to some egg hunting action on Bunny Day. Giddy up. That's your catchphrase. Camping gives Zipper a chance to finally get out of that stuffy old costume and. er. We're being told in no uncertain terms that it is not a costume. It has a. S <laughs> oh, <laughs> these descriptions are the best. I'm happy I started reading them aloud. Egg furniture, as you would expect. Bunny stuff. The Donbury. The hot plate. Imperial pot. Omelette. I kind of like the hot plate. You can actually take that to Cyrus and customize what food is in it. But uh, I don't think I want to spend any of my mail coupons on this stuff today. I don't think any of his furniture is special and anything that's particularly hard to find. So instead, we're just going to give our special attention to damage up and go into this RV. Inkwell is a rather cool Splatoon superfan. Inkwell has decided to leave his past behind and create a new identity as a squid. It better be go it's going better if he, his eight legs weren't so obvious. So he's an octopus who is trying to pose as a squid. He has tons of Splatoon items in his house that you can actually order for your house if you wish. I like the urchin underpass look to that right there. Very iconic. Blank Ecker tea, pilot goggles, Splatoon spawn points, Splatoon tower, splatter shot, squid bumper, studio headphones, super sea snail, it even shakes around, Takaroka mesh, so many good items that I already want to order, and it's hard to pick only three of them. Any sort of non-animal cross, okay, not any sort, though, but most non-animal crossing amiibo figures will have items related to the game that that character is from, making them very worth getting. I think the super sea snail sung to me the most. Sounds like it'd be a tongue twister, but it was actually not that hard to say. And uh, I'll take the pilot goggles, sure. And I'll take the tower. Hopefully for all 100 points. <laughs> that is all that I can order from him for now, I think. Uh, actually, you know what, let's do that. Let's order a fourth item and see what happens. Uh, is it actually gonna let me do it? Okay, good, good. I was worried I was wrong there for a moment when the pop-up window actually came up. What do you say, though? Hey, do you live here? The name's Inkwell. And the game's anything involving feats of strength. I thought the game was tower control. I had to! Come on! He's got the tower right there in the middle of his stinking house. 
You can indeed invite him to live in your town. There are many characters that are able to do this, and I kind of want to show them all. I'll at least do my best in doing so. Any that we don't see, of course, I'll just go over it some other time. Well, what? Really? Oh, man, I just finished a workout. I'll tell you what, come back in 20 minutes, and I'll be raring to go. Splat. Very fitting catchphrase for him to have, and I think it's adorable that they have another octopus in the game. Octopi are the most remote species of animal that can live in your town, and just the fact that he's an octopus, uh, octopus who's trying to masquerade as a squid I think is hilarious to me. Just because he's such a big Splatoon super fan, he doesn't want to be an octopus. That's so cool. That's about it for that, though. Uh, this has been a surprisingly long day. I was actually thinking this would be a pretty straightforward one, and I was actually wanting to get in a little bit of fishing, because the fishing tourney tomorrow. Um, I wanted to get in some... Training, is what we'll call it. No, what you call cheating, I call training, because I am not breaking any rules, and it does help me get a higher score, so no. It is training to fish ahead of time to get fish to give to Chip. But I guess, either way, we're not getting any sort of help from fishing in advance. Isabel, I would like to put in another public works project. As I asked you a few days ago, what public works project we should build and why? I'd like to go over what exactly I decided on here. Easily the least popular option was the tire toy. Most people said to build it next to the Zen bench and Kit's house so that Kit would be able to watch her child play while she sat down and rested. It's a cute idea, I'll give you that, and it is a pretty good reason, but I didn't want to go with this. For when the curling stone hits the wind turbine, many people suggested the wind turbine just kind of citing it as cleaner energy, some even turning it uh, toward Molly's magazine saying that it needed to be more eco-friendly. I didn't decide to go with this one either, but personally my favorite comment about the wind turbine was a joke from Aaron Goofer saying, build a wind turbine so when Amelia tries to fly back she can't. Ouch, dark. <laughs> Oof. Also, I on purpose listed the wind turbine as an option to see if anyone would come up with something funny for why we would need a wind turbine and a windmill in the same town. I'm well aware that they don't do the same things in real life, but come on, I was hoping someone would make a joke about it and no one did. Another popular suggestion was putting a public works project near Molly's house to remember her by when she left but she hasn't moved yet. She's not moving for some time. Usually this was the drinking fountain because, you know, ducks swim in lots of funny places where they're not supposed to, but we already have the fountain over here for that same purpose. We don't need a fountain of the drinking variety to do the same thing. I thought it'd be kind of redundant, so that's why I didn't choose it. I chose not to go with the parabolic antenna, but my favorite comment was by missing user on Twitter who said, we gotta keep an eye on those magazine spies with it. A lot of other people were saying we should put it near Shari's house so she can get in touch with her home planet again, which was kind of funny. By default, that means the winner is the hammock! It's not been known to win many races in its existence, but it has won this race nonetheless. We had a lot of good suggestions for all of them, but I kind of just chose not to go with the other ones for admittedly kind of small reasons. The things that sold me on going for the hammock. Or, I guess I shouldn't call you things, your people. Um, I meant things as in comments, but um, I guess I was about to say your names, thus this is very awkward. I'm just gonna get on with it. Anna Krauss on Facebook said, Do the hammock and put it right in front of Crook's house so you can sleep on his lawn and he can't do anything about it. Behold, Croc, the power of government property! <laughs> so it may not be quite in front of his house because the trademark do not enter sign, but hey, we'll put this here. Another thing that sold me on this, a bit of a contributing factor, was NiniJot1 on Twitter who said, If you place it near the water, Kruk will never see it coming. It'll be his last surprise. <laughs> I guess it's kind of close to water, but I can't have it in front of his house and right next to it at the same time, so I'll just have to give him one hell of an oomph to get him over that. <laughs> I like this. We're gonna loosen up on Croak a little bit after this. I feel like we've been kind of zeroing in on him a little bit lately, and when I treat him that way, it's kind of no wonder he's been treating me the way that he has. He, I kind of have done a lot to deserve it, so we'll just build this right here. Maybe he'll even interpret it as a gift or something like that, and he'll loosen up on me a little bit, but oh boy, it's anything but a gift. I will gladly fund this endeavor to troll him with all of my hard-earned bells. And you know what? He's even home, so I guess we can go in and see the inside of his house, finally. Pietro's- 
We just heard about you guys hanging out from Molly a moment ago. Hey, hey you're here. Kick me. Pietro's here too. Have fun, but don't wreck anything. I just remembered something kind of interesting. Well, interesting. We we heard. We, oh, you're talking about Adriana as well. Man, she is just so popular in this town. I guess she. A lot of her subscribers live in this town or something like that. I'm not really sure. Just you two. I don't have to worry so much. You're both easy company to keep. Krug has a pretty great house. It is nice looking, if nothing else. Just between you and me, it seems like Molly is thinking about leaving town pretty soon. Come on. I don't want your updates. I want to hear more about you. That's right. The other day, I talked to... Why are you guys talking about everyone visiting our towns? <laughs> what? Guys, I want to hear about you, not about people who visit this town. <laughs> Music I'm following, I basically I like up-tempo songs you can dance to. A lot of anime has really up tempo theme songs now that I think about it, that's probably why I love them. I've been inspired a lot by these, those songs. I'd like to see more anime themes appear in dance clubs. You can't deny that, it'd be awesome. I can't deny that indeed, Pietro. You got some good ideas. Maybe I'll have to give you a seat of power in this town called Pallet whenever I eventually have to step down as mayor. There's that. I saw that Kit's house is go inable before, but we kind of saw most of her layout, at least along the edges on her birthday yesterday. Fang, what's up? Someone talking about your flatworm? <laughs> what have people been saying about my flatworm? <laughs> I knew it. Finally, my long search may be close to an end. I'll give up the goods. It's really okay? Oh, wow, you just made my day. Here you go, 240 bells. Hey, that's one bell for every pixel in height YouTube used to be. You know my interests. <laughs> I knew you were cool, and this confirms that the fact that I have a flatworm. Well, that's about it for now, though. There was one other person who suggested a public works project that I wanted to get into. Their name was Paradork3, and um, their comment was pretty funny. I'll just show it to you. <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot. It made me laugh, and even though it wasn't a deciding factor in anything, I thought it was pretty funny. Back in the back room, we got quite a few things that we can... I misinterpreted what place on the floor meant. <laughs> we have quite a few things that I want to use to decorate this room with. First of all, that's quite a bit more sleek looking. Second of all, this table or whatever I stereo I bought is more slick looking table. Put that here. I'm going to miss ca uh, Cafe KK. I really like that a lot. So that'll go there. Next up is the Papa Panda. I think I might want to customize that to make it black. I could make it look like the villager Pinky by keeping it like this, but I don't think it jives too well with the rest of the room, personally. Pickle jar... Sure, it's mostly clear. <laughs> there was one of these in retail as well, so if I really wanted one, I could have just bought one this whole time. What a pickle to be in with the prize that I won. Hee 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 hee. But that's it for now. I say we made a lot of... Time in this town. Wow, I was not expecting to be out this late. Anyway, tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, we got a big fishing day ahead of us. And I guess maybe we'll see some other town services that are open on that day just by chance, but that's going to be the bulk of things. See you guys then.